Number 21 on the PERT practice test, what we're asked to do here is find 15% of a number, and that number is 12. Um, all you need to do with this is remember that you can change a percent to a decimal pretty quickly. There's a hidden decimal point in the back, and you move it to the left two places. So this is going to give me 0.15, and the word of in mathematics means multiply times 12, and then I think they'd let you use a calculator on this one, so I'm using a little basic four-function calculator, 0.15 times 12, and that's going to equal 1.8. Let's see if that matches any of our answers from the multiple choice section. And there it is. For number 21, the answer choice is D. Number 22 on the PERT practice test says simplify. Now, this is a case where you have to be pretty knowledgeable about the laws of exponents. And here's the deal. With uh, the first quantity, there's no exponent outside of the parentheses. So technically what that means is I, I don't need this parenthesis. But the second quantity has an exponent, and so I'm going to need to use those parentheses to group this and evaluate or simplify the problem. So I'm just going to rewrite this part without the parentheses. 3a cubed, b squared. Now, this means 4 squared. It's basically 4AB times 4AB. That's what the squared means. If it was cubed, I'd have to write a third one. So 4 times 4, or 4 squared, is 16. And I'm multiplying these. A times A is A squared. And B times B, well, that's B squared. Some people actually will say you distribute the two. You really, you're really not distribu distributing the two, but the two goes, does go to each of those quantities. So you get 4 squared, A squared, and B squared. Now, to simplify further, this is actually the last step. Um, you multiply everything. So thir 3 times 16, that's going to give me 48. And a to the third times a to the second, when you have like bases, you're going to add exponents. Um, and that's going to give me a to the fifth. And then b to the second times b to the second, you add exponents, and that will give you b to the fourth. Let's see what this looks like from our answer choices, if any of them match up. And there's only one with a 48, A to the fifth, B to the fourth. So my answer choice for the practice test for number 22 is choice B.